Today, over 6 million Filipinos have diabetes, and that number is rising. But what do you know about it? What happens inside your body when you have it? Diabetes mellitus, or diabetes, is a group of diseases involving the hormone insulin, which is produced by the pancreas. You are diagnosed with diabetes when your pancreas produces very little or no insulin, or when your body is unable to use the insulin you produce. Insulin is essential in helping our body store and use the energy from sugar and fat we eat. Once food reaches our stomach, the carbohydrates are broken down to a type of sugar called glucose. The stomach and small intestines then absorb the glucose and release them into the bloodstream to give us energy. The hormone insulin serves as the key that unlocks the different cells in the body, allowing glucose to enter and to be used by these cells. Some of the glucose is stored to use for later, and the rest is used to give us energy. Without insulin, glucose remains in the bloodstream, keeping our blood sugar levels high, thus resulting in diabetes. There are different types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes mellitus is commonly seen in younger patients. It is usually caused by an autoimmune disorder, meaning the person's antibodies and immune system destroy its own pancreas, preventing it from producing any insulin. This results in absolute insulin deficiency and high blood sugar levels. Type 1 diabetes patients are dependent on insulin injections to survive. Type 2 is the most common type of diabetes in older patients. But both young and adult people who are obese are prone to developing this type of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes may result from insulin resistance, where the body cannot use insulin properly. It may also be caused by insulin deficiency, a condition where the pancreas does not produce enough insulin for the body's needs. The third type of diabetes is gestational diabetes. Two to 10% of expectant mothers develop this condition. During pregnancy, the placenta releases several hormones that circulate in the body. Some of these hormones make it hard for insulin to do its job in controlling your blood sugar. It makes your body less responsive to insulin, resulting in high blood sugar levels. However, once the baby is born, most women with gestational diabetes go back to their normal glucose levels. But it still predisposes the mother to developing type 2 diabetes in the future. Here at the Medical City, we have a holistic approach to managing diabetes. Our multidisciplinary healthcare team works in partnership with you and your family to effectively screen, diagnose, and manage your condition. Most importantly, patient and family education is offered to help prevent diabetes and its complications. And because the Medical City is JCI accredited, you can be sure that you and your family receive world-class standard of care from diagnosis to management. The Medical City, your partner in preventing and managing diabetes.